All right, we are here at Texas Motor Speedway, the newest configuration where you have to slow down in turns one and two and all that. We're in the uh, Cup Series cars, so it's A-fixed, and uh, I'm the number two car, so <laughs> hopefully it doesn't go too poorly, or uh, I'm going to feel the pain. <laughs> um, it feels much different from what I remember. Um, and uh, again, apologies if the sound is weird. I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. I've made some adjustments from the last video, but um, it's feeling different from what I remember here. And uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It feels like uh, maybe it's the setup is a little tighter this time around, which I would prefer a looser setup. So that's not what I want to hear. But uh, I don't know. I'm having trouble figuring out turns one and two. And. Uh, I'm usually pretty good at Texas, so I'm hoping that I can still figure it out. <laughs> My uh, first A fixed win ever came here, so I'm um, hoping to keep the success going. But uh, I don't know about that. I don't even think I took that very well. It just doesn't feel right. I don't know, you don't, I don't know if I'm fast or if I'm slow. I couldn't tell you. Let me look at my all time best right here, maybe. Huh? We'll see how it's going. Uh, I did plenty of practice, but man, I just couldn't figure it out. I don't think I had it uh, quite dialed in. B2, you've just done thirty point one. Uh, we got there. there Go I just done a thirty point three. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Oh, got too low. Stinks. So that one was looking better than the first lap, but now that ruined it. The leader's just done a 30.0. Yeah, that one was looking like a better lap, but not to be. But looks like uh, still decent enough to get us up there. Um, it's a real low strength of field, I imagine. I mean, I'm the number two car, so um, it's late at night, and there wasn't very many people signed up. Um, we had Jesse Awuji in the practice session. It's too bad he, it doesn't seem he's uh, shown up to the race. That would have been cool to race against him, and uh, he had good pace. I was, uh, I think I was like fourth in practice, and he was number one or two in practice time. So would have been another guy to uh, potentially race against. But uh, nah, he was just doing some practice, I guess. But uh, looks like that'll be a P2 for now. Maybe we'll drop down a couple, but uh, seems like the times kind of go up, but that, that doesn't really matter too much because um, there's going to be a lot of draft going on here and tire saving, it seems like, because it seems like you really want to keep your tires happy to make it through one and two, right? And uh, I noticed in practice, once you get some decent laps on, even uh, turns three and four where you're normally flat out, you start having to lift a little bit if you want to hold that line on the bottom which seems to be the preference, so that's all pretty interesting. Um, I have the feeling this is going to be one of those races where there's going to be some real infuriatingly dumb moves that might take me out. <laughs> some three wide moves and everything. We've got the number one guy not qualifying, so maybe he knows something I don't, and uh, I'm going to be taken out up here. I hope that's not the case, but... Um, I guess we'll see. Could have gotten a little more practice in, I guess, but uh, I guess I was just kind of tired of running, <laughs> running the track, man. I did a lot of, uh, I did like 50 laps before um, even popping in here for practice, which not a ton, but it's also, I felt like I got what I needed out of it, I guess. Um, even though I still, I'm not feeling that good. <laughs> In turns in one, one and two, it's just I can't seem to be consistently on that line I want to run near the bottom, which I think is what I want to do. I want to make sure that I'm uh, sticking it down there and uh, keeping it low on the exit of two so I can uh, maybe not destroy the front rights too bad. Um, 99, 99 after that short little stint there, but it really feels like it starts pushing as the run goes on, so uh, not too long, we'll wait though, looks like we're ready to go here in just a moment. 
All right. Do this weird sideways start here at Texas. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go straight to session last lap because I don't want to be trying to set fast laps from the start. I'm going to want to be trying to take care of the car, which uh, maybe that's not going to be good news for me because I feel, I feel like I'm going to get run over from behind, to be honest, by guys that are not interested in saving tires. So I'm going to have to be careful, watch what other guys are doing. Got a couple of Micks behind us. We got McDonald, McGlashan. <laughs> a lot of M names in general. Oh man, I don't have all my <laughs> settings set up properly. I was trying to go up and down through the relative and I can't. Still got to get all my settings right after the, uh, the great computer meltdown of 2021 I had to deal with. Uh, shouldn't be a problem though. In this race just won't be able to see what I want um, uh, I hit about a 29.9 in my qualifying so I could have been up there for competing for pole but I think if uh, it, that second lap kind of ruined me if I had gotten that second lap down a little better maybe I would have uh, had a shot at it but oh well um, it stinks to be on the outside here because there's no real other groove except for the bottom this isn't really a multi-groove track here on iRacing. I don't think it is in real life either, to be honest, but... Uh, yeah, you really want to be on the bottom. We'll get probably get freight trained uh, from the start. Oh, so that's fun. Laps. Um, hmm. Just thinking. Got two sets of tires. Definitely want those. So, you could potentially get into a situation here where you uh, might have to make some decisions that matter. That term you know, comes into uh, comes to putting tires on. Wow, pit uh, pace speed's a lot slower than I expected. <laughs> they went zooming out. That's funny. I thought a big track like Texas, we'd be, uh, I don't know, I guess 55 is right about it. Maybe I'm just out of practice. <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Still only my second race back after I had to take that long break, along by my standards. So hopefully I don't make any stupid mistakes. <laughs> I think it's a first gear start. That's what it feels like. I hate starting P2 because you got to look to your left and see if the leader's going to know whenever to hit that gas pedal. And, uh, you know, can't really look two directions at once. Point one eye one direction, one the other. <laughs> mm, got a weird start, but, uh, looks like we'll be able to get to the bottom at least. Got a good enough jump to uh, keep it in front of those guys. A little bit of loose. These cold tires. And we got a yellow flag. That's going to happen in these low strength of fields. I don't think. Uh, Jesus Christ, what was all that? I don't think that that field split, so we probably got some. Uh, Beginners and experienced oh, guys in the geez, back probably didn't know about cold tires. Probably lost it. Man, if I didn't just smoke a bowl before all that, I don't think I would have made it through. Uh, it sounds like there was a bit of a pile up. Trust me, my heart's still smoke here. <laughs> That's probably not a good sign. Oh, these dead cars. That stinks for them. Yeah, 23. Yeah, I got kind of run my. We gotta get another good start. Hopefully we'll get a green run this race and not a bunch of quick fashions. You know what the best part of smoking for me is now? I'm retired Navy, so now I get all my bongs at discount at the uh, at the store. Oh, okay. I got nice. someone. I swear, every race I do, 
that's like one of these late at night ones or something. Pleasure, brother. There's always someone either talking about smoking weed or drinking. Yeah, that's cool. Man. It's always one or the other. <laughs> they always they always have to mention it. I mean that's no, cool. No, fuck you, money. Build like, a big computer. It's the only topic they ever talk about. <laughs> I don't know how their volume is compared to mine. Hopefully it's not drowning me out. I don't even, I don't think I have my mute button set up either. So I can't mute them if they start getting too weird. So apologies for that. Hopefully not too much uh, downtime. Seems like it's a pretty quick uh, caution. We're already two to green. Still don't want to do a bunch in a row though. So I don't know if first gear was the way to go. Maybe a quick shift. Uh, no, I don't know if I like that wheel spin pulling me to the right. I might just go second gear. Wonder what uh, happened back there. I mean, I can almost guarantee it was uh, either someone pulling it like three wide immediately, or um. Someone getting loose because the cold tires. One of the two, or both. Could be both. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a second gear start. There's no reason to do anything crazy. I mean, it's lap 350. I think I can get a good enough start without having to do that quick shift thing. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Oh, great! I have the hiccups. I swear I get the hiccups every time I go to record. <clears throat> Sorry. All right, go on the green. You're on the outside. The All right, Colton, get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. So I think if I'm doing second gear start, I'll maybe try to keep him, uh, keep P1 in my mirror right there, like a little behind me. Let him get the jump, and then I'll uh, start gassing it from second gear. He should get in front of me, and then I should be off and rolling and uh, not lose too much on him. I think that might be the way to go. Hopefully we, uh, we get some space again, like we did on the initial start, and be able to get to the bottom. Let's see if I can keep him right there, because I hate doing this like look to the left thing. Don't like not knowing where I'm going. Alright. Gonna have to be ready. So I'm about to go. Get ready, going green. Post car is off, time to do your job. Late start this time. He kind of did a roll thing. Probably could have got a better jump, but uh, rewind already. It's fine. Here we go. Inside. Clear inside. All right, let him go. Not too concerned about that. Did we survive turn one this time, guys? We're gonna find out here. In about negative three seconds. I think we're good. Alright, just gonna take it easy for now. I'm not gonna try to do any passes or anything. P3, the leader has just done a 32.2. Lap lap was a 32.4. The car in front of lap time is a 32.2. Try to keep it low on the exit like that. Didn't quite do that how I wanted, but it had some push on the nose. Gotta remember to factor in the arrow push. So that's gonna be a thing. Looks like we got some uh, room behind for now. Makes me feel better. So I'm guys trying to dive it in on me or anything. There we go, that's more what I'm trying to do. Okay. Let's just follow these guys. Draft. Maybe try to keep that uh, the right sides on it. Mm, didn't quite get the angle I wanted. You really?
really want to try to get, in my experience anyway, you really want to try to get it real close to that line. Helps you get through that corner without uh, feeling the push. But uh, not too urgent right now. Sometimes I can get it, sometimes not quite. It's kind of tough to get it just right. I'm glad I did the practice ahead of time, instead of assuming I remembered how to thrive this place. I never like to assume, because uh, we make updates all the time to these cars and stuff, and you know, there's a different setup You've just done pretty a often when we come to a track, even if we've been there before, you know. So you gotta learn how to drive it. I prefer looser setups, but this one's feeling kind of tighter. So you gotta manage that and drive it accordingly. Okay, I almost hit the apron a little bit. It's fine. Still kind of maintaining that gap behind. You know, I'm caution free right now, so that's pretty good. Keep the wheel straight. Not try to do anything that will hurt the car. Lifting a little in uh, three and four. Maybe that'll be easier on it. Try not to jam on the gas pedal. It's uh, such a bad habit of mine and an easy one to get into. But if you ease onto the throttle it's uh, much better for you. Hopefully this thing goes green, I would love that. Number one car is finding his way through. It's not too surprising. That lap time was kind of he knows how to get his way up here. Hoping my car will be good in the long run if I uh, drive it the right way. Don't quite want to lose touch though. I'm liking this draft I'm getting from these guys. Two second gap back to the guy in fifth. Like that. Don't think you need to enter that wide, as wide as these guys are. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe the, what they're doing is better on tires or something, but these things have so much downforce. I don't know if uh, that's really necessary. Got in there pretty good, maybe a little too hard. <laughs> maybe that's a sign that, uh, going too hard. Or maybe it's a sign that my uh, tire savings working. We'll see. It's still too early to really be doing anything, but if, uh, if they're going to be going slow, I guess I'll do what I have to do. <sighs> I didn't really want to start going, but Outside. Don't want to be checking Still out there. there. Keep low. Outside, clear. We'll find out later if I'm pushing too hard. You're back in there, you That was a 31.1. That time I drove in too hard, that's for sure. Oh, man. Oh, that's a caution. And uh, that's going to be a set of fresh tires we're heading for. Definitely going to need them now. Don't want that fuel. Do I want that fuel? You know what? I think I'll put that in there. I think the extra weight might help uh, make the car looser, maybe. That's a thing, right? 
think so. But, uh, we'll make sure we're caught up with the leader here so we can get on pit road real quick. Although, do I really want to be in second when I come out? Maybe I can beat the leader up. <laughs> Have confidence in that pit crew. I'll be honest, I don't know how like the variance works for the pit crews. Do they have a fixed time that they always hit? I don't actually know. I've never really looked into that. Or I wonder if they have like a, a span of time they might hit. Because obviously in real life, you know, that can make a big difference how good your pit crew is. Speed limit is 45 miles per hour. The lead car's pitting. It's not speed, but let's make sure we're rolling. Box in a five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Ooh, got in there pretty good, I think. Just about as good as the other guy, but. <laughs> I gamed it a little bit. I let that guy come out second. Because I want to be on the inside. <laughs> I might look dumb if, if they just get to the bottom immediately, but. <laughs> it almost looked like anyway, the guy behind me was thinking the same thing, too. <laughs> Playing games. Hardy's scheme. Got fresh tires. Gonna have to remember they're cold once more. We are 94 94. That's much more even than I expected it to be. But uh, I guess that means we're doing an alright job. Gonna keep uh, driving the way I have been. Huh. And uh, about halfway through at this point. One car has found his uh, way to the front, so he's going to be a fast guy to deal with. But uh, maybe we can spy on him and see what he's up to. Maybe learn something. Always try to do that if I know there's a guy in here that's uh, clearly got experience. Maybe keep an eye on uh, where they're getting their speed from. Their uh, Hardy's scheme reminds me of my... Uh, truck series scheme. I've got like the payday like <laughs> candy bar scheme. It's got that blue and orange and white for that matter. Got my uh, Ted Drew scheme here in my cup car. Local uh, frozen custard place <laughs> just from trading paints in the St. Louis area. Good stuff. I've mentioned it before. Might have had some more people taken out there. Hard for me to check though, since I don't have my uh, my wheels my wheels set up to go through the field like I want to. Normally, I'd be able to like, scroll up and down on the relative or the standings and see if someone's like in the pits. You know, if we've got a bunch of people in the pits or people lap down and stuff. But uh, I guess we don't have to be too concerned with that anyway. We'll just have to be concerned on how we're going from the start here. In one lap. One lap to green. Line up on the outside. What? Green next Why time am line. I? Huh? That's weird. Why am I on the outside? Hey, it's seven. You're on the inside. Huh. Gerald, me outside. I was about to say, uh, one, does it tell you to be on the outside? For me, it has an arrow pointing to the outside for some reason. Yeah, I just realized it has me on the inside, but That's I mean, if you want to go strange. on the inside, I don't, I don't know. What should we do? Yeah, they just switched it up. I, uh, 15, I gotta go up top. 
All right, again, the bottom of the line. That's bizarre. Okay. All right, I'm just befuddled. I, I don't the... really know what to say about that, but... Uh... Shit. Huh. So much for our <laughs> plan. I mean, you're sworn as the leader, so, I mean, you're going to use spell to get the jump. All right, Colton, be ready. Fine. We're going green. Oh my gosh, sure. I hope there's not black flags handed uh, out because of this. Happen to me. Happen to anybody else? That's bizarre. Because uh, obviously the leader should be on the inside, but it seems like iRacing flipped it, so I don't know what's going on. Pace carries off, time to do your job. I'm not gonna lie, I fucked that up. Green, 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 let's go. I take full responsibility for that fuck up, my apology. Oh my god. You're back in second. Well, that whole restart was bizarre. <laughs> that was a bizarre restart. <laughs> yeah, I take I take full responsibility. I thought the pace car was already in, and it was not. So that's my fuck up. It was just weird because it, it had us in the right spot in the beginning and then it switched us all around like right before the restart yeah it wasn't even just uh the stutter start it was just everyone got flipped for some reason that was super weird huh well <laughs> they're in second now i guess what a weird race I just realized it's the catch up the baker. Damn it! I'm out of it. <laughs> Full moon's out tonight. <laughs> uh, pace card's coming out of turn four. Check it out. <laughs> We're back in second. Maybe we'll be the leader? Question mark? Because of the weird thing going on? <laughs> Don't know. Uh, you know, quote unquote leader because maybe we'll get flipped to the inside again. Who knows? Race controls. Also smoking that weed <laughs> like they were talking about earlier. This is my second race here, and the first race I did, damn, the tires fell off real quick. Mm -hmm. Lucky dogs coming on the outside, so I gotta make some room for when they come on by. It's a huge track, so I shouldn't have a problem, but... There we go, getting all that back. Congrats to them. <laughs> that guy seems to be going kind of fast. They don't seem like they uh, got too damaged in whatever confrontation they had. Just kind of realize how many, how many people are in here. 27 car. Lots of people. I'd like to get a good finish. So I don't bomb my eye rating. But it's also because I feel like uh, I can hang up here pretty well. But uh, if things are going to keep going out or going, I don't know what to expect. Two to go, coming on right here. Pit Road is closed right now. I imagine there's got to be a fair number of cars taken out near the back at this point. We've had enough pileups. At the start of a run, too, so you know people are close to each other. Nowhere to go, nowhere to escape whenever people start looping it. Right on the start. Hmm. Hopefully, we get some more green laps. I enjoyed that little bit of green run we had. Still only halfway, so I'm still gonna be using uh, cautious strats <laughs> to, uh, you know, preserve the car to be there at the end. Going by pretty slow since we're taking the laps at 55 miles an hour. Hmm. 
<laughs> Just gonna keep going, uh, second gear start. Seems to work just fine. You might get an initial jump a little better if you do the, um... How many cars are in the split? First gear, but... <laughs> I think we had 29 or 30, but way too many. 29 or 30 cars, they say, in the race. It's a single split, right? We, it, they didn't... There wasn't enough I'm guessing it two. didn't split, then. One to go. I think, I think that's time. about how yeah, many people really signed up. Alright, looks normal this time. I'm mean, number two in the outside lane, so... Right now, I'm just testing... I got lead race here this weekend, and... I had a... a did pretty good last time we were here, but... I don't know if I just forgot the line, or if I forgot how to drive the truck, but dang. Yeah, he's feeling the same thing I was feeling. I was feeling the same way. It's uh, It feels different from the last time we were here, or at least I think so. Um, one and two especially seems a little tougher than I remember. Yeah, I don't know if the track's hotter or what, but it might be. Probably track, Jim. Yeah, because I know the last time I raced in the league here, the tires would go out pretty quick, but... So it's not just me, then, this time thinking it's, that the uh, it's car feels like a little different. Tires are only a lot better, though. Heads up, have a green flag. I think it's more likely they gave us a Get different ready. setup this green. time. It's made me a little tighter. Speaking pretty fast. Out of the swing of it. Got all the nervousness back. When you do enough races in a row, you're like, yeah, okay, I got a handle on it, but uh, out of practice, so I'm like, ooh, it's all nervous time again. I have to watch behind me if he gets a run on here. Or anything. That's a decent rotation there. on that white line. Okay, Colton, we're matching race pace. That was a 29.9. Okay. Don't want to take it too slow and get run over, but... I think it's better for my long-term health if I uh, take one and two easier. by my long-term health, I mean the cars. <laughs> What's better for my long-term health is if I avoid contact with these guys. And get a decent finish here. <laughs> this guy if I want to go for the win. I'm going to need to have the tires late in the run. Otherwise it's going to be hard to have any sort of advantage. So that's what I want to be thinking about when I'm doing these laps. Oh, what's this guy doing? I thought he was going to take the low line at two miles an hour and that was going to make me quite nervous. <laughs> I 
I've seen, I've seen worse. So you gotta expect the worst. Especially in a single split race. I don't know what guys are capable of. See, I think that's better for me. As long as I get the better run out of the corner by keeping that it low. That out of nowhere in that fucking Walmart parking lot. <laughs> I think it took that little shot later than I wanted to, but it's okay. The more they fight side by side behind me, the better. Check it up one, check it up one, check it up one. Uh, I reckon. Please don't wreck. I'm afraid you didn't do that. Oh my god, what just happened? I didn't even see it behind me. <laughs> oh my god. Where'd everybody go? They did a magic trick. They're all gone. <laughs> Checking up in one. No wonder. Man, if this is a two car race to the end, I am okay with that. Because I can take this, do this off. I say, overdriving it. <laughs> what a goober. Hey, I can take it softer. Drives it harder than I have the past six laps. Okay, we'll make it up here because I don't really do so much lifting in three and four. Well, I think other guys maybe take it a little easier. I think uh, I think you're fine to take it a little harder in three and four because I think it's just going to be burning the uh, rears just as much. And hey, if those rears want to burn off, I'm okay with that. Oh man, take this green to the end. Give me a guaranteed top two. at all the way back. Apparently not back far enough as I still kind of overdrove it there, but looks like he had a similar experience. See, I could, you know, keep in the gas there, even though I'm kind of going out wide, but that's just going to tear that tire up. I'm more concerned about the long-term health of the tire than I am taking one corner better than I uh, would otherwise by lifting a little more because I took the wrong angle. Pretty strange uh, experience on a half, one and a half mile. Ooh, we got arrow push. Man, those guys got uh, a bad rap. That was the number one car. They must have wrecked pretty bad and it just didn't bring out a caution. That stinks. I'm worried about my rating plummeting. His just went full 2008 recession. Too soon? Sorry. <laughs> it's been 13 years, darn it. Your lap time was 31.2. Oh, really? Uh, going easier now. Looks like he's pushing pretty hard. As in, uh, Maybe having to lift on exit. That's what I'm trying to avoid having to do. Get some arrow push, because I'm right behind him. Making the car tighter. In you go, this time bar. Just done a 31.3. Saving the tires enough to make a run at him. There we go, that's good stuff. Exit low out of two. 
it feels like you're going so slow, but it's good on the tires, and I mean, you can see right there, session last lap, you're actually going pretty good. Going pretty fast, so keep doing that. Are we going to be able to uh, get past him? Are we going to go green to the end? Because that's a question, too. Okay, Colton, lap times are pretty consistent. Consistent lap times, my crew chief says. Thank you, sir. Good to know. Now I'm having to lift in three and four a little bit as the tires get older. I feel like I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. That was a thirty-one point five. Having uh, worn tires. Or having the arrow push wearing the tires more. Oh, it's gonna be hard to get by him. I hope this isn't one of those tracks where it turns out you have to pass on the uh, on the restarts, or else you're not getting by someone. Hope that's not the case, and I missed my chance. You guys are right. Five left to go. That lap was a 31.5. Yes, get that bottom line. Got a good run. I think it's enough for now, though. We're chasing him. If we're going to be right here, there's going to be arrow push, so we have to keep that in mind. Left car. Can't let it move now because we got this going on. Car outside. Outside, clear. Oh man, there's a car out there. Oh, it's making me nervous. I couldn't push as much as I wanted because I didn't want to end up outside. right next to him. Outside, clear. Kind of messed me up a bit. I have to take the corner a little different. Okay, we have to start trying to move now. I lost some time. That stinks. Don't you be wrecking back there. That better not be a sarcastic thanks. Oh, he's kind of wide. He's wide. He's wide. We're going to have a much better run. Setting up for a good finish, I think. Just have to figure out how to get by him. Protecting the bottom. Oh, he's really protecting the bottom. No cautions now. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. But that was a 31.8. Can we get to the bottom? No, I didn't take it hard enough, I don't think. Dang. Try to dive in there and make him nervous? Nah, he blocked it off though. Good win. Couldn't find a way past you. Great drive. That's a podium. I knew I just needed to protect that bottom. Yeah, you did it too. You did a good job. Good defending. <laughs> Fun race, man. Man, I'm glad you were there, 15. Yep, you protected the bottom like you needed to when I couldn't get by him. Yeah, all them guys would have passed me if you weren't there. 
Can't feel bad about PT though. Back to Rob, yeah. Yeah, it was just uh, kind of caught the wrong brace, got the runs at the wrong time, and there was no way to gonna. I was gonna get by with a plant room or something. So. Oh well. P2 with the two car is the qualifying in the two spot. Go figure. Kind of want to watch those last couple laps real quick. Because we lost all that time whenever uh, it was this lap car. So I'm coming over here. I could have taken it. I should have been more patient. I see this guy up there and I don't know what he's doing. So I have to. I can't hit the gas as much as I want and go towards the wall. So that kind of stunk and uh, from there kind of lost uh, some ground. <clears throat> but uh, I know we have better tires. We had uh, 79.83 and uh, lost a bit on the right front I bet from pushing near the end. But uh, he pushed pretty bad right there and that's where we gained a lot of time back up. And uh, made it through there pretty good. Got the draft, so we're closing up on them. And here I'm just doing my best, trying to you know get to that bottom, because that's the only way you're gonna pass. But he protects it. See, he's blocking that bottom line, and that's what he had to do. And uh, you know I could gas it up harder here, but I'm gonna run into him, and that's dirty. <laughs> Don't want to be a dirty driver, so I can only go as fast as he's going here. So that means I don't get the run. So coming in uh, through here, I pushed it harder because no tire saving anymore. I'm going for it. And, uh, you just got to try to get to that bottom again. Kind of try to take a late apex and come down here. But uh, he just has too much momentum. Saved enough tires to be able to make that work. And uh, couldn't find a way past him. It's good racing. And he knew what he was doing. He knew he had to protect the bottom. So here I, uh, I'm just like, all right, forget you tires. I'm just going in. <laughs> and uh, you can see, you can see his tires rub there. He entered a little wider. He had been doing that the whole race. You can see some marks there. Maybe, maybe that's from a different car. But whether it's from him or not. You can see him turning down hard to make sure that uh, I can't get a nose on him. So, you can see I have to lift there. Because uh, I'm not going to run into a guy. He blocked off my uh, any potential run I had. And there's no other groove on this track, so you're not going to do like a fun outside pass or anything. So That's why a lot of people aren't too fond of the track. It's very one lane. So if you don't get the nose in on him, then... Uh, you're gonna have a hard time but uh, enough about that let's go see them wrecks because we knew there were some we know there's some out there <laughs> we got some wrecks to see initial start this is up oh, eight just immediately got a guy tapped outside Ooh. Of strangeness going on there. So he gets tapped and then, oops, and then it almost looks like he turns right. Not sure what that was about. And then he doesn't hold his brakes while he's wrecking, which he really should do. And then he's blinking and <laughs> everything's going wrong. I like his uh, Wood Brothers scheme though. Yeah, what is that? Why is it turning right? I that was unintentional. It's bizarre. But we got more to see on lap one, turn one. Weird fish tailing and spinning. Guys running into each other trying to avoid that. And then, uh, later on, we got some trioval trouble. <laughs> Bouncing it off the wall. And chrome mobile. Number 29, that's gotta be one of the highest numbers in the race, right? 29 cars. I don't think he did anything though. Did he bounce off the wall on the entry? Yeah, he just bounced off the wall on the entry just a little bit. That's nothing. Is this something? 
Is he again? That time on exit. Ooh, he almost loses it too. <laughs> Dan just plows him. Oh no. Oh no. What have we here? It, it kind of looked like one of those deals where you know you're walking in a narrow hallway and someone's coming the other direction. And you're like, one person steps left and then you step left and then you step right while they step right. That's kind of what happened there. <laughs> Indecision. Arby's? Oh, that's Lowe's hitting the wall. Looking at that Arby's car though. Oh! No! <laughs> Days of Thunder driving into this wreck. Isn't that fitting? Where did that car come from? Where did you come from? What happened? He's blinking out and... Wow, he was like gone for an entire lap. And then he right he reappears right in front of him. He probably like had some hardware trouble or something even. Cause he blinks back at the exact wrong time. I wonder what that looked like from their perspective. If he was just was nowhere, not even in sight, yep. Oh my god. That's I remember. I remember in the chat he's like, Where did you come from? Yep, that sucks. <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happened? It's like, uh, that tree jumped out right in front of me. Except, uh, it's kind of what actually happened here. I believe you, sir. I believe your story. I got the contact on pit road. That's not quite how you want to enter your pit so I just broke some poor tire changer's leg. Jimmy Johnson's drunk. Taco Bell takes him out. <laughs> He's a nice pirouette. He's okay. More of a mix. McDonald. Some blocking. I guess it registered that little tap in the back. Oh, this is what happened right behind us. So I didn't get to see this live. Let's see what happened. So that's going Ooh, that's unfortunate. Oh no, how did that not bring out a caution? So what, what do we have here? It looks like... I keep hitting the wrong button, I'm sorry. I'm gonna look from back here. Hmm. I'm no expert, so maybe that five kind of came down a little soon. Maybe that one didn't give enough room. Seems kind of like an unfortunate racing incident, though, where you got guys going too wide through the tri-oval and they just meet. That stinks. Yeah, I think uh, that's why whenever I'm uh, in the tri-oval, even though it's not ideal, I kind of try to keep down by this line. I mean, obviously I'm in the middle because there's no one around me, but if I'm too wide through the tri-oval... Kind of trying to keep it lower than I need to and really cut down here because it's really easy to. Man, iRacing's having a, tr a tough day with physics and reality tonight. But, uh. <laughs> Spring. <laughs> he hit the rubber band that was stuck to the wall. There's a piece of gum on the wall and he <laughs> ricocheted back. Oh, man. But it didn't cause a caution, though. I these things have on a weird day. So, oof. The whole field. That's why they're yelling, checking up. That stinks for those guys. They were racing good. Taco Bell and anime meeting together as one. Nope, not quite. Almost, though. And then the one's got all that damage, and he's, he's a lap down at this point. They're going three wide through the dry wall. But they make it. Speaking of three wide. Uh oh. It didn't work. Arby's, did you save it? Arby's, please. Oh no, Arby's. They have the meats, but they also have the grass stuck in their front grill. Ooh. Harvick looking guy with his number four silver. Kind of looking number four, almost tapping Skittles. 
25 <laughs> slide jobbing I guess on a lap car I don't know what that is <laughs> it's kind of bizarre 24 and P7 doing a good job until he hit the wall and went into the infield Makes it though, just loses a ton of spots, so that's unfortunate. But is he gonna come up and tap Taco Bell? Almost. Oh, <laughs> they were touching there for a second, but uh, we're seeing this instead. Tap of the wall, There's stuff happening all over the track, it seems like. Apparently, Taco Bell and Jack Daniels do not mix. Oh, the race is over at this point. Was that retaliation? Yeah, so. What exactly happened here? I don't know. I think I missed something. So, Jack Daniels guy was mad. He also was blinking out really bad, so that might have had something to do with it. Okay, so yeah, this is what happened. Taco Bell comes up and hits... Jack Daniels because he takes a weird entry and uh, he saves it but loses a ton of spots but he angry now he's so angry that his internet blinks out and then after the race he's like man I hate Taco Bell <laughs> we get some retaliation that's not very cool he probably shouldn't do that but we did good. We got second place. That's what we were expected to do. As always, I finish where I'm expe expected to. But uh, we did it with a 0x. And avoided some of the weirdness. So, Alright, getting back in the swing of things. A couple of top fives. The first two races back. And uh, I'm not feeling as dizzy and sick as I did after the last race. So, <laughs> progress in that, in that regard as well. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully it was a fun one to watch. See ya.